to today's seven on Sunday. Guys, are you excited? Because the next two weeks are cover battles and I am keen, okay? I'm keen because this week we're talking about our favourite UK covers and then next week we get to talk about our favourite US covers and I am just so beyond excited for this and I think it's going to be just a really fun little challenge and I hope I have the right week first because I wrote this down and I hope it's right. But UK ones are happening this week and I'm very excited to just talk about some of my favourite covers that I've got that are UK ones. So the first one I want to talk about is Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. So this is the UK edition and this is the US edition. So I prefer this one a lot more. Like it is in some ways more simple but I also like just the greater detail of like the ships in the background. I like that she's very small. I love the colour scheme. With the other one I'm just not a fan of just having the girl's face there and it's a lot of purple. Like there is explosions and stuff coming down and it's kind of like nice text but I just always preferred this and this is why I bought this edition because I just think it is the superior edition. Next I want to talk about Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. This is the US edition and I actually was a fan of the US edition before this book came out. I liked the moths, I liked the different colours like going in that like kind of zigzag colour like that was really pretty but it wasn't until I saw this in person that I fell in love with it. This is so beautiful. I love the whole entire edition. It is the best. It is goals. It's beautiful and I don't actually know what the second book looks like in the US edition so I don't even know if I would have had matching covers so this is definitely the superior one and I just love it so much. Next I want to talk about Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. So this is the UK edition and this is the US. So I just like this one more because it shows all the characters. I like the colour scheme, it's very pretty. But the other edition's just very basic. It's got just two computer chairs, the text isn't that great, the colour isn't that popping and like it has the paperclip between them but like still it's just not that great and I just prefer this so much more. Like it's just got Again, nice colours and the writing looks great and this is also just a really cute story that you should totally read. Slide note, but yeah, definitely prefer the UK edition. Next I want to talk about Never Night by Jay Kristoff. So obviously this is the UK edition and this is the US. So I do like the US cover, like it's cool, it definitely shows off Mia a lot more. But there was just something about it that I just didn't really like as much as this one. And I like with the crow that you've got all these details and you can see Mr. Kindly. And it's just very simple, I like the red and I like how they all match really well like as a whole this whole entire UK edition as the series looks really good together like yeah it shows Mr. Kindly in a sense with this like smoke shadow behind her and I do probably prefer the text of the US edition more but this is the one that I ended up enjoying a lot more and the one that I bought. Next I want to talk about The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson like another Brandon Sanderson I didn't even think about this like man some of these books I've had for so long like I would like to read this form but it just hasn't happened but this is the UK edition and this is the US edition and this is just just so much nicer. I like that it's drawn, I like that it's more simple and the figure's just very little. Brandon Sanderson's books works better when the figure's just a little person. And with the other edition, like yeah, she's all stabby stabby and she's in the smoke and she's doing a little jump and she's got the knives and everything, but it's just boring. Like I don't really want to read this book. It looks like an adult fiction that I would have no interest in reading. And this one, I still want to read, but the covers really drew me in, but everyone talks about how good Brandon Sanderson books are, but then again it's like, I don't even have space to put them anywhere so I do hope to read this but I've had it for so long now that I don't know when it's gonna happen but yeah this is definitely my pick of favorite out of UK and US. Oh this is really exciting because this is the only one in my list where I actually enjoy the UK edition more but I actually own the US edition. So The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. This is the hardcover and it only came out in the US edition but I actually prefer the UK edition and I used to have this with the paperback but I decided I really wanted to own my favourite book in hardcover and the paperback that I owned was a very little edition so I decided to go with this one and it's not like they're much different but there is just something about having Celia and Marco silhouetted on the cover that really speaks to me. I don't mind the hand holding the circus and both editions do have a circus on the cover but there's just something a little bit more magical about the UK edition that I enjoy a lot more and like don't get me wrong I still do love this but I can still have a preference here and it's just funny to know that there is one where I don't actually own the edition that I prefer. And the last one I want to talk about is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. They look very identical, like don't get me wrong, it is basically the same cover, but the US edition just makes it look more like a record. I like it, but I just prefer the rainbow. Like I feel like having the colours like this, it's just more inviting in my opinion, and like the whole entire edition looks really pretty. But with the US edition, there is just a lot of darker hues there, so that's kind of being like, mm, like I don't know if I really vibe with that as much, like I just think this is way more pretty. So that is 
all of my favorite editions here except for the one but I still really do love the Nike Circus like it's about the book inside that counts way more than anything else but it is fun to know that they do do a lot of different editions and have a lot of different release dates like it's a way that publishing companies definitely make a lot more money but anyway that is all for today's video and I'll be back next week to talk about all the favorite US editions that I have because in general US editions do make me more happy like I generally prefer them more like I used to always think it was UK but when I was researching for this all of them were US so it was really hard to actually make the list of UK ones like I found some that I like not that these books are my favorite thing ever and not that I've actually read all of them but it can be really hard to think of things but this was a really fun video and I'm excited to bring out part two next week but anyway guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time bye